Hey guys, last video we showed you doing the seat pans and then carving the seat cushions. In this video, we're going to show how we finish the seats by doing the seat covers. Stick around and we'll show you how we did it in detail. So we started by making a muslin that we could then develop a pattern from. I'm sure many people go straight for making the cover, but given our inexperience and using an expensive covering material, we wanted to make the muslin first. We did this by first making the bottom and top pieces straight off the cushions. Then we'd sew on the side piece and mark where the seam should be and sew all the pieces together. The basic design we used for the seat backs was to completely enclose the cushion and then make a sleeve or a back piece that would slide over the seat back. By the time I had gotten this far along with the muslins, my mom took a look and graded my work as unsatisfactory. Being her favorite child, she eagerly bailed me out and took over from here. She tightened up the front seam muslin to make it fit better and then made the back seat muslin from scratch in the same manner. Once the muslins were finished, I made patterns from them that could be used to cut out the materials. I did this by tracing all the seams, labeling the components, then ripping them apart, cutting along all the seam lines, tracing the pieces on the paper, and then adding the seam allowance we desired. We just used plain seams, so we added a quarter inch. If you're handy and use French seams or something like that, you'll need to account for it in your seam allowance. Once the patterns were finished, we cut all the pieces out of leather. We used a soft two and a half to three ounce upholstery leather. Obviously a terrible choice for a machine that's supposed to cheat gravity, but we all make terrible choices once in a while. After the pieces of leather were cut out, we match cut pieces of scrim foam for any piece that shows. This is purely a cosmetic step. It will help take out any imperfections in the cushions or the fit of the finished covers and we'll just make the covers look fuller and nicer, in my opinion. Next, we glued all the scrim foam pieces to their matching leather pieces using upholstery glue. We took special care to not get any glue where we'd be sewing to avoid gunking up the machine. At this point, we started sewing pieces together. For the straight pieces, like the top of the seat cushions, I cheated and clamped a straight edge to the table to use as a guide. Once the center pieces were sewn together for the bottom seat cushion top, I sewed both sides and the back piece on. Anywhere the edge of the leather would show, we hemmed the edge. With the top of the front seat cushion done, we put the edge on. To do this, we clamped good side to good side with lots of little clips. With the edge piece clamped in place, I carefully sewed all the way around it. Since the old machine we used just has a clutch and no servo, this meant a lot of hand cranking the wheel for me. Any piece of the seat covers that wouldn't show, I used denim. Before sewing the underside piece to the seat bottom, I sewed Velcro on that would close up the opening at the back, as well as a piece that would secure the cushion to the seat. Then I clipped the bottom piece to the rest of the cover and also included a trim piece in this seat cover to cover up the spring clips, make it look a little more finished, and add weight. Sewing the last piece on, keeping everything aligned and navigating the curves was a bit of a wrestling match, so having an extra set of hands was nice at this point. The final item for the seat bottom covers was sewing Velcro on the tabs that would help close it all up. For the seat back, we sewed the center pieces together first like for the seat bottom, and then the side pieces. 
At the bottom of the top cover's front is a piece that will pass under the lower bar of the seat back and Velcro to the back piece of the seat back cover. So I sewed the Velcro onto that piece and then sewed it to the rest of the cover. After the front piece was done, I clipped on the side piece and sewed it to the front piece. We decided to put some simple pockets on the backs of the front seat. We basically just slapped them on the same way Jean's back pockets are put on. We hemmed all four edges and then just sewed the two sides and bottom straight to the back piece. Before final assembly of any of the cushions, we cleaned the seams up by cutting away any excess scrim foam and notched and clipped the curves to make the seams lay nicer once they were inverted. There were three main pieces to the seat back cushions that I sewed together into one seam, and the orientation and order which they're assembled is important. I laid the front piece down facing up. Then I put the back piece on so the back was facing the front side. The small strip that's sewn to the back that goes over the seat back tubing mates to the strap sewn to the front that goes over the cushion. Then the third piece is the middle piece that goes between the cushion and the springs on the seat back. This piece went on last, with the side that will contact the cushion facing up. Once everything was lined up, I carefully clipped it all together and slowly sewed the seam, paying close attention that none of the three pieces moved. Once it was sewn together, I inverted it from the compartment that the cushion will slide into. To finish up the seat back covers, I added Velcro to hold the cushion in, as well as to connect the front and back. Before sliding in the cushions, I glued on seat heaters. Then I put the cushions in and closed them up with the Velcro. The seat back cushion slid onto the seat back tubing and then the bottom piece on the front looped under and velcroed to the back. The seat bottom cushion just velcroed into place. To start on the back seat, I sewed all the pieces for the top of the bottom cushion together. Then I sewed the strap that went all the way around the bottom cushion to the top piece. We did the bottom piece for the back seat bottom a little different. Instead of leaving the back open to insert the cushion, we made the bottom two pieces to allow for inserting the cushion. Once I cut the two pieces, I added Velcro to close up the opening and Velcro to attach it to the seat pan. After I clipped the bottom to the rest of the back seat bottom cushion piece, I sewed it together and put the cushion in.
For the front of the back seat upper cushion, I sewed all the middle pieces together, then the side pieces, and then the strap that's the thickness of the cushion. Then I sewed the strap that covers the seat tubing to the back piece and all of the three main pieces together in the same order as the front seat back covers. We made this cover close up similar to the front seats, but since the seat back doesn't tilt forward, there was no need to carry the front piece all the way under and to the back. So we just used Velcro to close up the cushion and then added snaps along the bottom of the seat tubing and to the bottom of the seat back cover to hold it in place. Well, I, I think that pretty well covers how we did our seat covers. Um, I'm glad that we ended up doing our own seat covers, even though it was a pretty big time sink. Um, I can definitely see the allure of having a professional do your seat covers. They'd save a lot of time and they'd turn out really nice. And I realize that not everybody has a badass mom willing and able to do the hard part for them. But I think that if you're satisfied with mediocre results and you're not afraid to suck at something new, I'd recommend giving it a try yourself. Anyways, that's all we got for this one. So we'll see you guys in the next one.